segment, I discuss the way that the dual criminality requirement of most extradition treaties affects red notice subjects who are possibly facing extradition. We left off with the idea that even if an extradition is prevented by a lack of dual criminality, a red notice can still lead to a person's removal from a country. How can that happen? Well, a person can be removed or deported from a country even if they can't be extradited from it. For example, if an Italian citizen is in Canada on non-extraditable charges, Canadian authorities could still remove or deport him back to Italy if they become aware that there's a red notice in his name. They don't have to, but they can if they wish because a foreign national's presence in a country is always at the discretion of the immigration authorities of that country. Another way of transferring a person back to another country is through diplomatic efforts, when the sending country feels it's in its best interest to provide the fugitive to the requesting country. The possibility of extradition or removal is the reason that many red notice subjects seek assistance with red notices even when they are in what would normally be considered to be a safe country.